The Honourable Todd McClay. Mr Chair, thank you very much. And, uh, I almost didn't want to interrupt the member. That was one of the most insightful, thought-provoking speeches I've heard in this House for some time. Uh, Mr Speaker, and I congratulate him for that. Certainly, as the chair of our most significant committee in this parliament, we're in very good hands. Mr Speaker, I want to talk now about trade and the importance of trade, because not everybody in this parliament understands the importance of trade to New Zealand. We do not become richer from selling to ourselves. Of all the things we produce so well, uh, be it from dairy, be it uh, uh, in uh, uh, wood and wood processing, all of these areas, Mr Speaker, we produce more than we can consume in New Zealand. We're a trading nation. To be able to make sure that our producers uh, can trade successfully, to make sure that New Zealanders can retain their jobs, we need high-quality broad trade agreements that at the very least give us the same advantage as some of our competitors have into some of the most competitive markets of the world, but in many cases of our free trade agreements give us a, an advantage, a preference. Mr Speaker, over the last year New Zealand has, has uh, achieved a significant amount in trade negotiation, but also uh, when it comes to trade. Last year, New Zealand exported $55 billion worth of goods and services, a significant increase on the year previously. That's the first thing, Mr. Uh, Speaker. The second thing uh, is that when one looks at the top 10 countries that we trade with, Australia being number one, China being number two, the United States being number three, Japan number four, those top 10 countries of importance to us that we trade with, we have a free trade agreement with all of them, or we have launched a free trade agreement with them, or we have a negotiation underway to launch a free trade agreement. When I look at that list of the next 10 most important countries that we trade with, Mr Chair, uh, we also have a free trade agreement with every single one, or we're negotiating, or we have discussions with them about the launch of a free trade agreement. And I repeat again, we don't become richer as a nation by only selling to ourselves. Now, Mr Speaker, Tim Grosser at the moment is overseas negotiating a high-quality agreement of exceptional importance to New Zealand. And I know that uh, Mr Cosgrove, although he may well have been muzzled, and good luck to those on his side that try to muzzle him, but I know he understands trade and he's supportive of trade. I know that, <laughs> I know that uh, he has described himself as a rabid free trader, and I accept what that means. That means he's extremely supportive of free trade. He knows the benefits it delivers. Mr Nash, another one, a little less rabid when it comes to free trade, but a free trader nonetheless. And I think, Mr Chairman, there are starting to be great divisions within the Labour Party when it comes to the trade issue. So are they going to support a high-quality agreement in TPP, or are they not? Well, I would suggest, Mr Speaker, that there are a number of their members on the opposite side of the House who know about trade and the importance of trade in New Zealand, who are actually in touch with the electorate and they know what our mums and dads, workers and businesses want when it comes to a trade agreement, want to support this. But their leader's not so sure, you see, because I don't know if you're angry about lots of things. Why not just get angry about a trade agreement? Why not put aside uh, uh, the collegiality that's often been in this House between the two largest parties when it comes to trade agreements? We won't agree on all aspects of them, but actually there's been a bipartisan approach to trade and free trade. Well, we can have the debates about how much further you would go. But, Mr Chairman, it's extremely worrying when it comes to New Zealand's place in the world and the view the world will have of New Zealand with the second largest party uh, uh, signalling that they may well vote against an important agreement that will deliver for New Zealanders. So the question is, do we want a free trade agreement with Japan? Do we want one with America? Do we want to back our businesses to do well and trade with them? Well, of course we do a high-quality agreement. And I know there are members on that side of the House, when they were in government, advocated for and argued in favour of a negotiation with those two countries and others. And I know deep down they support this. So why is this important, Mr Chairman? Well, think about the Korea Free Trade Agreement that has been delivered and is about to go through this House. And I give you an example in the Bay of Plenty of how exceptionally important this is to individuals and mums and dads. 
Uh, we export a lot of kiwi. We are the best kiwi fruit producers in the world and the best exporters of kiwi fruit. But others produce good kiwi fruit as well, and others are competitive, and others have lower costs of production. So when uh, Chilean kiwi fruit go into Korea, uh, they have a lower uh, tariff rate than we do. 